But anyways, this is saying that you finished the course and got well in that type of stuff. So when you talk to these locals, which they all know, you're going to be calm. When you talk to them, say, yeah, you know, I'm so and so, and I just finished that, you know, my workers' course last last Thursday, and they'll know who they are. They'll know that you came through and that type of stuff. Don't give this letter away. They want something, let them make a copy. This is your proof of graduation. All right. You know, so basically, yeah, it's kind of, you know, we can call it diploma, whatever. It's uh, what they're going to ask for from you. Okay. We went through that. Tie some rats for me. Set that torch. Tie some knots. I've known many of the people he asked that. You know, so make sure you can do it. And that's what's the obvious reason you came here, right? Make sure you do it. So make sure you're shown that. You know, that and they ask you to do that. So, so uh, make sure that uh, you tell them that, that you came through the program. I would call to all of them. They're like for us. Uh, I know you call us 50 times, but. Uh, but uh, he said work is slow. Get on their list. Just about every local will put you higher up on the list. They'll bypass the other people that got on the list because you went through this program. You know, so get yourself on the list. Talk and number two, talk to them when you can start work. They okay, say, call me next week. Yeah. Oh, let them know you're there. Uh, don't call them every single day, twice a day. <laughs> but uh, when you talk to them and they're saying, yeah, we, uh, we're going to get you started you know, next week or whatever the case may be, find out what your responsibilities will be. And the responsibilities, I guess, are your liabilities. Okay. It's going to cost you money. Find out what it's going to cost you to join that local. Any one of us that wants to join the iron workers has to pay $100. That's right off the bat. It used to be 500 and things, not that. $100 goes for who are iron workers, and that's the fee everybody has to pay. Some locals will say, you know what? We're going to hold off till you work a week or two. You've got some cash in your pocket. Other locals will not. Other locals will say to you, I want that money now. So if you're going into town, and okay, I got a couple hundred bucks in my pocket, and you're thinking that's going to get you. You know, food, gas, and stuff like that till next week, and you find out you just had to pay them some money you didn't know about. That's a, a big shock. Some locals want you to pay your first month's union dues. Go anywhere from $30 to $60 for the union dues. You need to know that, because it varies depending on where you're going. You know, so, uh, so find that out, so okay, I gotta make a budget and that type of stuff. Uh, where to stay? You know, you guys know it was 200 bucks for that one hotel, $300 at the other hotel. What was it per night for the other guests that came in? $78 a night. You need to find that information. Uh, other things I've done research on and that type of stuff are YMCAs. Is that really be uh, applicable if you went to a bigger city and that type of thing? YMCAs are pretty cheap. It's good for the first couple of weeks to get some paychecks and very good. That type of stuff. Check into uh, Native American centers. We got one in Chicago. Check into Native American centers throughout the country. I know Denver has one, Phoenix has one, Albuquerque has one. And not only that, check into the different workforce uh, workforce uh, thing. I know it's further on down the line, but I know there's California Indian Manpower Consortium. It's just an example. They handle California, they handle <coughs> Illinois. And some states, or some counties in Iowa, you got, you've got to check into that stuff and see in different areas you're at are going to go to work that if they can help you. And I know not just California and manpower, I just familiar with that. You know, it's when uh, people come through that, are familiar with how they work. They can help you until the day you start work. They have to, they help the people become employed. So if you go to and say, hey, I'm going to wherever. And I had some guys start Oakland a couple weeks back. I told them to get hold of people in California to get hold of I'm going to Oakland. I need them. We're going to have to be put up in a hotel for a week. You know, those type of things. See if they can help. Find out what, what's there for you. And don't take no for an answer. Why do you think those places are there? You can't be mean. 
But if you have to, the next question coming out of your mouth is saying, well, you are a Workforce Investment Act, WIA. You are, you know, you are education and training. You are, this office is to help people get put to work. I mean, well, if not you, if you can't help me, where can I get help? And go that route. The reason I'm saying all this is this is where I see bumps in the road. I see talented, skilled people start going to work and find out that the hotel was worth more than they thought. The tire, you know, went flat on the car. A couple expenses they didn't expect. And they're sitting there at the end of the week going, do I eat or put gas in the car? And that's a pretty tough choice to make. So that's why I'm trying to talk to you. We've talked about this before about, you know, seeing where the help can be. You know, if it's there, talk to them. You gotta put pressure on them, but it's gotta be nice. You know, and, uh, you know, some of you guys are already, you get taken care of. We've seen how this works. Some people have plane, plane rides home from their agencies. Other people are like, Right? Other people are will pay your way there, you're on your own on your way back. Right? You know, so it's you have to do some research. Uh, down uh, what was it, number seven, I've got a couple places, uh, a website you can do some research and find out more. Talk to the people that you try. Find out what's going on. Uh, also, getting stuff going. We we know more about this than anything else. Uh, drug and alcohol test. Right? Make sure you study for it. <laughs> study well. Okay? Not a, not a, not a surprise. And, and here's something I've had happen. I think I may have told you this before. I had an apprentice start work, took his drug test on Friday. Cool. For Wednesday, he passes it. He's part of the apprentice in the union now. They tell him, go see company so and so on Monday. They'll be downtown. He goes to see company so-and-so, and guess what? Company so-and-so had a drug test also. And I'm not the judge, jury, or whatever. I'm smoking a joint over the weekend. That's what this kid did. Smoked a joint over the weekend. I went out and partied, hey, I'm by the union, type thing. And guess what? Not the union. Just from that. And like I said, I'm not the judge or anything on that, but you've got to realize that's what you're up against. That's, that's how the nature of the beast now is. So don't fall into any of that stuff. Anybody ever hear of Tarot? Tribal Employment Rights Organization. A lot of tribes have those, their own tarot offices and that, where they have the workforce office or they have 477. There's a whole bunch of these different, I don't know why they're not all the same, but they're all a little different. They, what they have in common is they have a, a skills bank. And the skills bank is set